Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's see if we can figure out how to take this function, f of x equals 1 over x plus 3, and turn it into an infinite series, a power series. Now we remember that f of x equals 1 over 1 minus x can be written as this geometric series right here. So again, the trick is to try to make this look like that. The first thing we probably want to do is turn the denominator around and write as 3 plus x. So let's do that. This is equal to 1 over 3 plus x. But we don't want a 3 there, we want a 1 there. So we can factor out the 3 from the denominator. So this can be written as 1 over 3 times 1 plus x over 3. Now we're getting closer. We don't want 1 plus x over 3, we want 1 minus something. So this can be written as 1 over 3 times 1 minus. And now we need something in here. So we get the exact same thing, but now it looks like it's in this format. And so it looks like we're going to need a negative x over 3. Now notice that we have this portion right here looks the exact same format as this. 1 over 1 minus some quantity. But we have still 1 over 3 there, but that's okay. We can now say that this can be written as 1 over 3 times 1 over 1 minus minus x over 3. And first what we're going to do is we're going to write this portion right here like an infinite series and then multiply times 1 over 3. So this is equal to 1 over 3 times we have the very same infinite series as we have over here but instead of an x we have a negative x over 3. So let's see what that looks like. So we have 1 plus, instead of x, we write a negative x over 3 to the first power, plus a negative x over 3 to the second power, plus a negative x over 3 to the third power, and so forth. Let's see what that looks like now. So this is equal to 1 over 3 times 1 minus x over 3 plus x squared over 9 minus x cubed over 27 plus x to the fourth over 81 minus and so forth. Then I think what we can do is write as follows. This is equal to 1 over 3 times we have 1 minus x over 3 to the first power plus x squared over 3 squared minus x cubed over 3 cubed plus x to the fourth over 4, oh, not 4, but 3 to the fourth minus and so forth. Which means we can now write this as follows. This is equal to 1 over 3 times the infinite sum and that's not a very good infinite sum symbol. Let's try this again. Infinite sum, much better, from n equals 0 to infinity of, we have minus 1 to the n power because that will allow us to come up with the positive and negative signs. When n is 0, we get a positive. When n is 1, we get a negative and so forth. Then we need an x to the n power, x to the n power divided by 3 to the n power. Now we're almost done. Now what happens if I now take the one-third and multiply it in here, then this can now be written as the infinite sum of n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n power times x to the n power times 1 over 3 to the n plus 1 power because we have an additional one-third in there. When we multiply this, we get 1 over 3 to the n plus 1, which is what we have over there. And this is the infinite sum, of course it could also be written as this, of that original function, where f of x equals 1 over x plus 3. And that's how it's done.